just a FYI, it is really hot in these things outside with the air is blowing. If you get crimped up in an attic, it's really hot. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Lane, and we're stepping back in time. Hi guys and gals of YouTube. Uh, today with our uh, construction company and dealing with our bees, we never know what we're going to get into. Well today we got a call out to go do a removal on some yellow jackets. As you can see behind me, I've got my bee suit here handy. That way it uh, won't be as easy for them to sting me. But with yellow jackets, it's a little different than honeybees. They need a little bit more protection, so with those, we have to uh, wear multiple layers to keep them from stinging all the way through to get you. I've got my handy uh, welding gloves here which work a lot better than regular bee gloves. The hive is located up in the attic of a house. It's a log home but they're coming in at the top edge of the wall between the wall and the truss and they have built their nest inside the insulation. <laughs> Here we have three different bees that you will find in a yellow jacket nest. To the right here is a infertile female, which is the worker bee. In the middle here we have the male that will mate with the queens so that they'll fertile for next year. This here is the primary queen of the hive that lays all the eggs. As you can see here, after we clean our shop vac out, which had a few inches of water and a little bit of dish soap in it, we vacuumed up all the bees from the hive, and this is what you end up with. Here we have various stages of larvae and eggs inside the nest. This is one of the multiple layers inside the nest. Well, I'm glad to have that job done. It's beginning to get real hot. Up in the attic, it was really, really hot up there. But I ended up getting out pretty good. Uh, one good pop to the back of the head, one sting in the forearm, and about six around my ankles where my pant legs slid up. But you have that on them big jobs. But all in all, it was a successful removal. Now, all we're lacking now is to uh, repair the holes they chewed through the ceiling in the kitchen and a final cleanup of all of our tools.